Hello Virgo, this is Renee, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Um, I do readings once a week, so if this reading resonates, like and subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads, and also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if you know that from your charts. If, like I said, if it doesn't resonate, I do readings once a week. So check back next week and I'll have another reading uploaded for you. Okay, Virgo, what's coming in for Virgo, February 1st through the 15th? What's coming in for Virgo for the higher good? What do they need to know? Expansion. Beautiful. Okay. At the bottom, we have instinct. Following your instincts, Virgo, you're going through some kind of expansion, some kind of progress you're going through. Spirit wants to let you know it's very significant. What else do we have for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising? What messages do they need to know? Exposed and revealed. And call of the muse. And when I say the call of the muse, I feel like someone is coming in to entertain you. Someone's coming in for like a prompt to um, to kind of make you feel uplifted, to bring up your spirits, to you know keep you focused. Because at the bottom we have feeling the world. So there may be a few things that may be weighing on you, um, Virgo. There may be something that's maybe heavy on your mind. Something that, you know, usually when we're going through a period of expansion, we're going through a period of growing because we've just came out of this heavy challenge. We've just came out of this heavy lesson that we've learned. And that's maybe pushed us into this expanding, expanding our knowledge, expanding, growing as a person, you know. And that usually happens after some kind of challenge and obstacle that we faced. Maybe that's the reason why we have exposed and revealed. Because this growing has come from you finding out about something that you may not have been aware of. And I feel like someone is close to you who's trying to lift your spirits, who's trying to keep you happy, you know? Yeah, we have friendship and union. So you have someone who, who's around you, who cares very deeply for you, who wants you to feel grounded, to feel happy, you know, even though you may have went through this challenge, this situation. At the bottom, we have cut the cords. So there may be something that you need to release or that you have already released. Okay, Virgo. Let's take a look. Let's see. You know what? I'm being led to use this deck first. So let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say for Virgo? For February 1st through the 15th. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, and rising for their greater good. The sun. Yeah, whatever the situation is, you're happy. You're growing. You know, this is moving in the right direction. You have new beginnings with this page of pentacles. And I apologize. My furnace stopped working last night, so I'm waiting for a repair person to come. So if you hear that noise... That's what that is. That's my furnace trying to figure out what it wants to do. Okay, I tried to turn it off. It won't turn off. So, yeah. It is what it is. Okay, Virgo. So, we have the sun. We have the page of pentacles. The nine of cups. Wow. 
Virgo, you are expanding into greatness. Wow, the Ace of Cups. What is coming in for Virgo? I see you. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Now we have three aces in this reading. The Pentacles, the Cups, and the Swords. Wow. The Knight of Cups. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So there is definitely something that needs to be released. Something needs to be let go of. And I feel like you know that. But I feel like it's not such a big deal because you have so much happiness here. So many new beginnings. This is something that you knew that you had to let go of in order to expand, in order to grow into this new situation. And this new situation is very beautiful virgo it's very um very i feel like it's bursting with magic this new situation we have the the two of pentacles at the bottom while i'm shuffling so i feel like th this is due to choices that you had to make kind of clearing your priorities setting the stage for you know, letting go of options that you no longer were suited for, you know? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So definitely, definitely some kind of swiftness, some kind of... some Something is coming through, some kind of message is coming through very swiftly. And these changes all may come through very swiftly. The Knight of Swords is also changes, life changes. Okay, we have the Page of Wands as well. Okay, so I feel like some kind of messages are coming through for you. At the bottom, we have the Knight, the, excuse me, the King of Wands. So something is bringing you a lot more passion. If this isn't a person, this is a feeling. This is you coming with that energy. Something is coming through to bring you that fire, to make you feel assertive, to push you through into action. You know, and I feel like you're whatever expansion that you're making is pushing you into happiness. You're feeling overjoyed by this situation there's some something that has been exposed and revealed and you may have to let this thing go but i feel like you're still happy in the situation you're still finding your joy there's still people around you who are making you happy who are keeping you uplifted and you have a very very good new beginning coming here with three not one but three aces so we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is going to bring you stability. This is making you feel grounded, making you feel um, like you're on solid ground. You know, this may be new income. This may be you moving to a new job, but I feel like you're very grounded. You're feeling very stable. You also have the Nine of Cups. With the Nine of Cups, this is this is wish fulfillment coming in. This is you being content in your situation. You're seeing things as being fully supported. You know, this is total love and support. This is your fulfillment. This, are, this is your dreams coming true. Some kind of dream that you're focused on is coming into reality. Because look, we have the Nine of Cups. And right next to it, we have the Ace of Cups. This is your Ten of Cups situation. This is total fulfillment. You know, not only are your wishes being granted, your dreams being pursued... You're at your Ten of Cups moment. You're 
opening to this new love, this new beginning, this new passion, you know. Um, so with the sun, you also have the Ten of Cups. That is that happiness really coming through. And I feel like it's it's pushing you into this more playful nature. You may be even more competitive. You may be finding yourself in a situation where you are competing in a situation. Maybe it's at work. Um, maybe it's at play. But I feel like it's bringing that playful side of you. It's bringing that sport, you know. These these kids are in sport. You know, they're, they're training. They're playing. You know, they're, they're trying to compete <laughs> to get this, this nest at the top. You know, see who can do it. See who has the nerve, the diligence to see it through. And that's how I feel like you're doing. Now you have another beautiful card, the Four of Wands. This is you celebrating whatever com competition you were in, whatever it is that you were competing at. You have victory. You have total victory, Virgo. And I feel like it's bringing you a lot of happiness. It's bringing you a lot of clarity. Underneath the Nine of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're pursuing your purpose. Whatever this is, it's bringing you a lot of clarity. You may be doing a lot of thinking. And I feel like the answers may be coming to you very swiftly. You know, I feel like if you're asking yourself a question, I feel like spirit is letting you know right away. You know, here's the answer. This is the answer to what you were asking. You know, those answers may be coming to you with full clarity, with full uh, wisdom at the moment. You know, this could also be you finding the clarity or having new ideas coming forward now with this new beginning you have a lot of new beginnings here a lot of new thoughts and not a new a lot of new focus i feel like someone is coming in to offer you some kind of guidance some kind of love some kind of offer to maybe pursue something different but this night is coming through with a lot of passion with a lot of caring and this night is coming through you know this may be your prince coming through to kind of save the day you know that may be the person who's helping you through this competition helping you through this playfulness so if you're open to love you definitely have a so many new beginnings coming through and i feel like there's so much happiness coming through if this is love this person is going to send you some kind of message that's going to make you feel very happy very uplifted very um passionate you know this is going to bring a fire and i feel like at this time with all of these new aces coming through the sun the uh, nine of cups i feel like you're fearless you you don't fear what the future brings virgo because i feel like you already feel like you defeated it you already feel like you've you know you've won the battle let's take a look at an outcome for virgo what is an outcome for virgo please for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, for the higher good. The Queen, the King of Swords. Wow, okay. That may be this love that's coming through is the King of Swords. That may be this love. The King of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. It could also be someone very intelligent. But whoever this king is, this could be male or female. The, this king is coming with truth. 
And they're coming in very strong. They're very assertive. They're very bold. You may get some kind of message from this person um, very soon. I feel like it's coming in very swiftly, you know, with this Knight of Swords down here. It's coming in fast. It may be something that you were really not expecting to happen. Maybe you weren't even expecting this person to really even be interested. But I feel like this person is coming to show you. Uh oh, excuse me. Okay, and we have the seven of seven of pentacles. Yeah, this person is coming to show you that everything that you've done is worth the effort. That the that the fruit is worth the squeeze, you know? That your work is something that you've done is being recognized. It's being recognized as worthy. This may be something that you've worked very hard on and maybe you had to be very patient about. Maybe you've been waiting for this communication to come in and now it's finally here. Yeah, we have the, the uh, Ace of Cups again. If this is love coming in, it's very passionate. It's very caring. You have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups coming in twice. So now we have four aces in this reading. So there's definitely some kind of new beginning, some kind of unexpected new beginning that you were not expecting to happen. But I feel like it's making you um, overjoyed. Some kind of information that you're going to get is kind of making you feel overjoyed on the situation. Some kind of new beginning. Yeah, you're looking towards the future. You kind of, you've been waiting for this results. This may be a choice that you need to make. But with the, the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, these are both cards of waiting. Waiting for results. Waiting for something to happen. So I feel like in this situation where you were waiting for something to happen, now it's like bursting forward with energy. Now it's not being delayed any longer. Now it's pushing forward. It's coming forth. Um, so if you were feeling like it wasn't going to happen, Virgo, here it is. It's here. This is happening for you. Um, let's see. What is this? What is happening for Virgo? What is this that they've been waiting for? We get the Five of Cups again. So, you gave up on something. You gave up on something. You had to let it go, Virgo. You had to release something from your life. You had to turn your back. Look at this. This is kind of eerie. But Virgo, this, this person, he's looking away from these cups that have spilled. There's someone floating down the water who is asking, yelling for help. And this person still has turned their back on him. You know, they don't even acknowledge that this person is out here needing help. So I feel like that may be very significant for you. That may be, you know, Maybe you were asking for help and someone turned their back on you. They didn't want to give you this information or they didn't want to help you through this situation. And this was kind of exposed and revealed that this person really didn't have your, your, you know, your best 
intentions towards you. You know? And I feel like you found this out and you had to let this person go. You had to release them out of your life. But I still feel like you're... You, you're not really looking at these three cups over here to the side who have spilled. You're kind of looking kind of side-eyed at these two cups you have left. And I feel like focusing on those two cups that you have left is bringing you into this situation, this new beginning. Because you see things from a different light, from a different perspective. I'm kind of surprised that the, um, the hangman isn't here. But... Yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, whatever this is, you, you're you finding solo pleasures. You know, this is something that you're, you're gaining your independence on. You're moving from this situation. You're focusing on these Two of Cups that you have left. And it's bringing you into this feeling more self-sufficient. You know, you're no longer relying on this person who turned their back on you. You're, you're no longer relying on this person who, you know, didn't give you the help that you needed. You're focusing mostly on what you can do for yourself. And, and I feel like it's pushing you into greatness, Virgo. It's pushing you into really finding your greatness, finding your strength. You know, what really makes Virgo tick? Let's get a monology card for this situation. What do we have for Virgo? And I don't know how these cards got in here, but we're going to go ahead and put them back. Okay, what do we have for Virgo? The sun, moon, and rising message for Virgo. We have bring love into the situation. And I feel like a lot of love is going to find you this month. This may be something that's coming unexpected. Conclusions are within reach Virgo you're going to get finality on a situation you're going to get growth expect powerful change powerful change is coming forward for you so that's very interesting very beautiful energy expect powerful change we have love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Speak kind words to yourself. And we have open communication. Get the weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Be assertive. Speak your mind. We have soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. So, yeah, this person is coming into your life. Maybe a soul flame situation for you. So, be on the lookout. Be open for the situation, Virgo. Okay, we're going to get one more card for Virgo. One more card for Virgo, please. We have forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Beautiful. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Spirit wants you to know to not follow the the path that may be in front of you. Don't follow the path that's always followed. You know, follow that path that's less followed. Um, and you are protected. You are being guided. You are being supported by spirit. Okay, Virgo, that is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And... Until the next reading, Virgo, many, many blessings to you. Love and light.